Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! While I was editing the videos that I last made, I noticed I forgot something back in the cafe. So, let's go back in here and spin jump! Oh, not there. Well, it is there, but I mean that wasn't the spot I'm supposed to hit to flip it over. Oh. Oh, there we go, a star piece. Back to Twilight Town. The thing that I forgot to mention back at the inn here is that if you stay overnight, uh, you'll get a peachy peach, which is the only place in the game that you can get it. It recovers one HP and two flower points. And anyway, uh, now that we did the whole key side quest dealio here, this shop is now open for business, and you can get a spite pouch from here. It briefly does half damage to all foes who attack directly. Um, but I'm com coming back in the shop here because I would like to pick up the stuff that I left in here. And yeah, I'm definitely going to put that in storage because it's just far too good. Boo sheet are really, really handy for dodging attacks. Life shroom, incredibly handy, you already know that. And a defense plus, or defend plus badge is in that one. And boosts the defense by one, as the text said. Anyway, I'm going to you know, swap some items around here. Yeah, I, I already swapped some items uh, between parts. I just uh, did that to speed things up ahead of time. Um, I'll put away the life shroom. I don't think I'm going to need that. Um... Less concerned about uh, recovery items at this moment, as I am showing off, um, like, odd items, you know, that I haven't showed off before. So that's why I'm kind of swapping off stuff right here, and I'm going to grab the Gradual Syrup and Slow Shoom that I put back in, I mean, put in here off camera. Um... Okay, that's good. Let's head on out! I wonder if I should just, like, cut ahead or see if I can dodge the enemies with the Yoshter. Eh, let's see how things go, I suppose. It's not that long of a trip. The reason why it took me so long to go through this trail the first time was because I was uh, battling and tattling enemies here, but now I'm just going to avoid them, and they they just have no match for the speed of Yoshter. <laughs> All right, now that I have the power of rolling, I can go through there, and there's a very obvious star piece that's pretty hard to miss, uh, because, you know, you're rolling through there, and the camera automatically shifts, so you're, it's kind of hard to miss that, and oh, no, it's a dead end. Uh, probably should turn back. No, if you do that, you haven't tried everything yet. <laughs> Alright, new enemies are coming up, so I'm going to swap all to Goombella. There's a star piece behind this pipe right here. And... Uh, can't go through there. Just go into the deep, dark background forest, which is now more lifelike. Ooh, crazy daisy. I got a new enemy to tattle here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, those crazy daisies, they can be pretty dangerous, and there's a really dangerous variety of them in this forest, which I might come across, or I might not. We'll see how things go. That's a crazy daisy. It may look totally cute, but it's a serious foe. Max HP is 7, attack is 2, and defense is 0. What you gotta worry about is its lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you all. If you manage to guard well, though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. Oh, and when its HP runs low, he runs away, so try to KO it in one fell swoop. Oh, you definitely want to take that out first. No joke, because it can put your you and your party member to sleep as it attacks both at the same time. Good lord! That's not too friendly! <laughs> um, maybe what I should do is set stuff up here, because I'm not going to be able to um, wipe out either of them, I mean, both of them in one turn anyway. So, yeah, I'm not even going to bother with the Hyper 1 there. I mean, the hyper fired one. <clears throat> even though it's going to do a lot of damage, but, you know, it's just that Goombella can't really do anything that turn anyway, aside from attacking the back one. Not that I would use that turn to be uh, relatively productive. Um, I guess I'll swap the Coops just in case. Okay, okay. Alright, and this should do it. Woohoo! 
Oh, I was late on my timing. Poopers. Poopers, poopers, poopers. I wish I was as consistent as I used to be on the stylish moves. You should have seen me. Oh, Fright Mask. I never bought one of those back at the um, Toad Town shop, and I've been meaning to get one of them and, and uh, show it off, but I keep forgetting to. Well, looks like, look at what I got. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm sad. Uh, anyway, let's go through here. Don't forget about this. It's an earthquake, and I still have to show, <clears throat> show off some odd items, so let's use them here. Ooh, bunch of crazy daisies. Oh, oh. Well, anyway, let's start using the odd items, shall we? Yeah, this summons a scary spirit to scare away enemies. It's Bowser! Oh, it all worked on every single one of them. <laughs> Obviously, you don't get the experience points you would if you battled them normally, but that's what the Fright Mask does. All right. Let's get into some more battles to demonstrate more things. Badge. The hammer throw badge. This can be used to throw hammers through the air at flying or ceiling enemies. So this is a, a, a kind of badge that can be used to circumvent the weakness of a hammer, I guess you could say. Oh yeah. And there's a there's also a badge for uh, a jumping so that you can jump on spike things called the spike stomp badge. Yeah, and oh, 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 why did I do that? Oh, I lost a slow shroom. <laughs> uh, anyway, I've got to swap over to Goombella, even though she's kind of low on HP, but I think things will be okay. I hope. That's a hyper clef. It's basically a clef that uses charges up moves. Max HP is four, attack is three, and defense is three. When it charges up, its attack power rises to nine. Couple its rock hard hardness with rock hardness with its ability to charge up, and things get scary. If you're confident, you might want to try doing super guards to send its attacks back. If you can't, you better use some items, and you better hightail it out of here. <laughs> and this is the the power of the amazing Daisy. Oh, oh, it's powering up. That's not good. It can put stuff to sleep. Oh, boobers! <laughs> it's so hard to time that too. Alright, maybe I should be using something fancy to take care of them. Mm -mm -mm. How about... An, uh, ice Storm. The Shooting Star is more powerful, so... <sighs> yeah, it's pretty easy to attack it that way. Uh! Oh, it ran. Yeah, Crazy Daisies ha uh, run when they get low on HP, so you kind of lose out on the uh, experience points of that. Anyway, um, I should probably swap to... <coughs> Yoshi, I guess, just in case. <coughs> yep, can't guard. Sadness. Because <coughs> it's a defense penetrating move, basically. Well, I could have gone better, but at least I showed off some stuff, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, should probably get out Goomba. Hey, wait, you already have to say about this area. I feel like something's gonna pop out of that thicket and attack us. Like, what? Well, could be. Stop it! I don't want to think about what it might be. So scary. <laughs> I should do more of those overworld tattles, actually, because some of them are pretty funny. I uh, like that one, actually. Anyway. Hmm. Ah, another dead end. Gotta go back. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, what if I go up? Oh, you can't go over it. Aw, oh, too bad. There's an invisible barrier above that if you didn't notice. Ugh! See that? Aw, oh, so sad. Invisible barriers everywhere blocking Mario's path. It's too bad. It's too bad. Uh, there's gonna be something hidden behind the tree if... Oh. And there's that. That's not the thing that I was looking for, though. It's nice to find that. But there's something... Am I supposed to ground pound here? Or am I supposed to blow it away? I forgot. Oh, blow it away. Oh, whoop. Uh, now I can ground pound that. But that rock is just there to be there, basically. <laughs> and you pop out the background... Now, watch what this does. Well, actually, watch this. You can't... It's another invisible wall of sorts. Anyway, watch this. 
Background objects affect the foreground for whatever reason. I don't understand it either. I probably shouldn't question the game logic. Maybe there's a pole that connects that one in the back to this one in the front. Like, it's underground you just can't see it. Anyway, pop down this hole. <laughs> uh oh Oh! Nope. Wait a second. Is this the thing I'm looking for? Yes! The shine sprite is right there. Okie dokie. I mean, okie dokie. Oh, it's the creepy steeple. We've made it. It's so creepy. So creepy. Well, this is the creepy steeple, the home of that monster. I do not like this place. Mario, let's get that crystal star and get out of here with with all speed. Hmm, yes, we probably should. Let's try this. Ah, poopers. Oh my, it won't open. Well, anyway, uh, you can jump down this well. But it's not very helpful aside from getting the shine sprite. Yeah. Whoop. I want um, over here. This is something for. Uh, oh, jeez! <laughs> I forgot about that. So there's a tornado jump. But anyway, this place right here. This is actually uh, for a return trip. Good lord! <laughs> How did I not take any battles from that? Okay. Whew. I just want to battle one at a time. I just want to get some tattles here. Just want... How did you get up there? Just want to get some tattles going... Ah! <laughs> tattles going on here. Ugh! That's, of, of course, a buzzy beetle. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm kind of low on HP. I should use that block. Well, it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. Um, I'll, I, yeah, I'll probably tattle first, just to make sure that I get the tattle off here. That's a buzzy beetle! Oh, it's kinda cute! Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. It's got pretty good defense, and fire and explosions don't hurt it whatsoever. But, if you jump on it, you can flip it over and drop its defense down to 0. Then, it's at our mercy! Ha! Don't hesitate! Jump, 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 jump! Okie dokie. Uh, watch what happens when you do flip this buzzy beetle over. It recovers on the very same turn. So, yeah, it's a matter of planning, I guess you could say, with these buzzy beetles. Woo! And you notice in the other room there was a different variation of them. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go recover before I end, before I face those off. Uh, Pagaug got, actually got the power punch that the other thing was holding. Woo! And, okay, heal up. Ten coins. It's worth it for the sake of convenience, I suppose, even though I'm sort of a cheapskate. <laughs> Alright, back in. Uh, are you going to be a... S I really want to battle one of those spike tops. Oh! Just a spike top. Just... Oh, jeez. Oh! One spike top, please. I hope I touch the spike top. Yes, okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't know who I touched there. They're just... Overlapping everyone. <laughs> It's a spike top. It's a buzzy beetle with a spike on its back. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. Like other buzzies, fire and explosions have absolutely no effect on it. But you can't flip it over to drop its defense to 0. But how do you do that if it's got a spike? I'm sure you know this already, but try not to jump on it. That spike hurts. Yeah. Well, anyway, you could use... Well, that's right, I took off the quake hammer. <laughs> um, well, earthquake would help. Definitely. Uh, you could also penetrate it with a shooting star or a earth tremor. Uh, I guess I'll do an earth tremor, because I can recover star points gradually throughout the uh, uh, creepy steeple anyway. So, let's see if successful PK cam will actually be successful on this. So I shouldn't jump, jump to conclusions by saying that I'm successful before actually being successful. I don't know, I'm just trying to find commentary, I guess. <laughs> Ah, that's good enough. It's gonna do five damage. It's one shy from the max. <sighs> Always makes me sad when I don't get a perfect um, Earth Tremor. I don't know why. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's what I thought was gonna happen, because they were all um, attacking when I was going into battle. Go, 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 I'm not going to battle every single one of you. No, absolutely not. No. <laughs> All right. Um, if you want to go inside. 
There we go. And from this side, still. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it wasn't gonna work uh, at first. Uh, if you sneak through, I thought you have to sneak through here. There's a star piece in there, but I forgot how to get. Yeah, can I just like? I'll sneak through here. Can I like? Should I roll? It seems kind of silly that I would have to roll in there. Can I hit the tree from a distance? Because <laughs> I could have swore there was a star... Maybe it's behind this that I'm thinking of and you can't... Oh, it is behind there, so you can't actually go in there. Maybe I thought of going back there in some other save file. I mean, I tried going back there in some other save file and I, I failed at it and just thought I could go back there because I tried so hard getting... or trying to get into it. Maybe... I don't know. <laughs> But what I do know is that I think I'm going to end off the part here so I can start the creepy steeple in a fresh part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Hopefully. Don't be scared, it's just a game. We can do this together. <laughs>